And just like that, summer is practically over. It's a, it was a pretty good summer. We had a lot of great animated movies. And obviously this month we had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. That was a great movie. Everyone loved it. I wonder how it's doing. Uh, what? How? Okay, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, as I am recording this video, is about to hit digital, and when uploading this video, it is on digital. Not even after a month of the movie being released, which is absolutely insane. And the movie right now is, uh, it's doing okay, but still, regarding to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles standards, this is probably one of the lowest box offices for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. And it baffles me that a movie that came out the same week, The Meg 2 The Trench, is ranking in 300 million, probably pushing 400. And obviously the Barbie movie is still leading with a billion. So what comes to my attention, did people just not go see the movie? Why was the movie, specifically Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, be on this so low of the stick? It has such a unique art style, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles after all. So, I mean, after doing a little research, there is a few reasons why this movie may not be doing so well. But it really has to see how Hollywood has been changing on how movies go to digital and everything. And I'm starting to notice it is hurting the overall run of movies. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Is anyone even seeing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? And just why it's so... You know, unusually low for a movie of this caliber. Now, first off, after doing a little bit of research, I've obviously noticed that TD Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem isn't in every country yet. If you look at the international market, it is very bad. I have not seen a movie like this have that horrible of an international market all year. So, it looks like, from what I've been hearing in comments, the movie has yet to release in their country yet, which is a little alarming because the movie is practically has hit digital now and usually when a movie hits digital now that's pretty much it for the movie maybe we'll see a spike in the in into the international market there are still lots of box office revenue to be had here but for the u.s market it's kind of over now and i feel like most people are just still putting off animation for other movies that may seem more appealing to them like for example the meg 2 came out that same week. The whole point of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles moving to that Wednesday, August 2nd, was to avoid the box office of Meg 2 The Trench, but somehow, the movie still overtook it, and is doing phenomenally overseas. So, regarding Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the animation style is so drastically different. I mean, it still has that spider verse feel. You'd think that with the brand Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, people would go out and see the movie. And while on the US side of things, that may be happening, it's having incredible reviews, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies have done a lot better. Look, I may be sounding a little, hey, just give it a while, but the movie's on digital now, and when a movie hits digital, that's practically the death sentence. And even more crazy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem wasn't even supposed to release on digital this week. It was supposed to release two weeks later, but then Paramount magically moved it to this week. And it's crazy that they really just want this movie out the window already. And why? I mean, you would want to rank in as much revenue for this movie as you could possibly have. It's already gotten past its budget, so I'm not worried about it. The movie had a $70 million budget. Its marketing was all over the place. It had some really good- It's probably the best marketing I've seen for an animated movie this year, besides the Mario movie. And... It's just, it's just weird. One, it hasn't released in other countries, so I'll give it that. But why release it on digital so early? That's just sending it to die. After Ruby Gilman hit digital, that was it. Ruby Gilman was pulled from theaters and we didn't hear about it ever again. Elemental didn't hit digital till a few weeks ago. The movie came out in June, it didn't hit digital till August. Same thing goes for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Why are so many of these movies waiting till like, not even like a month to then release on digital? And I think it comes to the point of people are still not, you know, 
looking forward to going to movie theaters anymore. Yes, the movie theaters are expensive, but it's not like it's out of hand. Barbie and Oppenheimer both prove that lots of people will go out to the movies, but that was mostly because of a meme. But still, regardless, the movie made a billion dollars. Barbie made a billion. Oppenheimer is still definitely going to hit a billion. And both of those movies are doing great. Probably the highest grossing movies of the year so far. And it's crazy to me how, honestly, after that movie came out, every other movie that came after got swept under the rug. When I went to go see Mutant Mayhem, yes, I did have a full theater, but you, all the other showings of Barbie were still sold out. I'm not trying to diss on Barbie, but it's just crazy to me how a movie on this caliber would do, you know, it's not like the movie's doing bad, but it's just, I would expect this movie to do a lot better, you know? And I feel like a lot of people could agree on this. A hundred million, I don't think a lot of people were expecting the movie to finish on. Maybe the movie, when it hits international markets, maybe it'll be blown out of the water. Because, like I said with Elemental, I was not expecting that movie to blow up. But then it did, once it hit inter international markets. So, we'll just have to wait and see on that uh, perspective. But, is it because... Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles aren't popular anymore? I'm sure they are, and they it's very true that they are. Um, is it just the appeal that it's not um, live action anymore? Trust me, the live action movies were not that great, and switching over to animation was the best decision. And the movie did have a lot of hype around it, so... Maybe dropping it on a Wednesday wasn't the best idea? I feel like Paramount had also did that because the Mario movie also released on a Wednesday and you saw how phenomenally that movie did. It just did bananas. And at least we know the movie is still fine. A sequel is already confirmed. A show is already in development for next year. We honestly don't really have to worry. The box office for this movie isn't necessarily um, the determining factor if we're going to get more movies of this. The movie is still like the highest rated um, TMNT movie of all time. Everyone loves it. Um, I love the movie. Everyone's praising it that has seen it. And honestly, if I really may be proven wrong once it releases into international markets, and maybe it'll just do way better than I'm thinking it's going to do. It's just weird how fast this movie came out on digital. Like literally, Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken waited longer than TMNT to come out on digital. And maybe people are right. Maybe people are just, they'd rather wait till a movie to come out on digital so they can watch it from the comfort of their own home. But after that, the US box office for this movie is most likely going to stop because everyone could just watch it at home. Most people will probably just drop most of the movie clips on YouTube. That's usually how it goes. But it's weird how fast these movies come out on digital now. It's hurting the movie itself. You could tell that once it hits digital, the movie sales and theaters just stop. That's why Elemental and Spider-Verse waited so long. And the Mario movie waited till like, I'm pretty sure close to end of May, June for it to release on um, digital. But is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Teen Mutant Mayhem a flop? No. It is still doing pretty good right now. Um, once it releases into international markets, it probably will push to 200 million. And I honestly, I'm not too worried about it. It's just crazy how fast this movie is on digital. Like, I kid you not. I thought this movie was going to be around the 300, maybe 400 by now. But it's been pretty slow. But have you seen the movie? What did you guys think of it? It's just a little thing I was thinking about. When I came home um, one night and I was just deciding, okay, let's see how Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is doing. I was really not expecting that. But maybe it's just the appeal of the turtles. Maybe it could just be overcrowded, saturation, because this, this summer has just been all over the place um, with movies. And maybe it's just people weren't interested. They would rather go see the Meg 2. What did you guys think? And have you seen the movie yet? Let me know down in the comments of what you thought of it. And yeah, thank you guys also, because this summer has been really great for the channel. We are literally in the home stretch right now. We're at 19,000. I'm really happy that we're very close to 20,000. To think that this mo this channel started from 1,000 at the beginning of the year to what we are now is just insane, man. I love you guys so much. 
and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.